Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn a dozen eggs into beautiful marbled creations that you can use to decorate for Easter. If that sounds like something you wanna see, stick around, I've got the full tutorial coming right up. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, and this is Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring projects. Here, you're going to find everything from simple and easy crafts to DIY home decor that you can use for every season. If that sounds like something you wanna see, consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video. Today, we are focusing on Easter, and I am gonna show you how to take a dozen eggs and turn them into marbled works of art. Now, marbling is a really cool technique where you take a color, that color can be food coloring, nail polish, paint, all kinds of different things. You swirl it around and there's a number of different ways that you can transfer that beautiful swirled art onto a surface. In this case, we're using eggs. I've shared a lot of different marbling videos here and over on the blog. You can check them out in the card up above and I've also got some more links down below. I have marbled mugs and dishes and jars and gifts, all kinds of things. But today we're focusing on eggs and I have three methods to show you. Now, a couple things to point out. This is a dozen craft eggs. So not real eggs, but they're very much egg-like. Uh, there's a link down below where you can pick up a dozen of these. You can also get them at most craft stores this time of year. I like using these because I don't have to blow the egg you know, where you take like a, a regular egg, a real egg, and uh, you cut a hole in it and you drain it and then you can reuse them. It's already done for me here. These are nice and lightweight. And then I can reuse these year after year. So once I decorate them, once I marble them, they're good to go for a whole year and many more after that. So the three methods that I'm gonna use here today, you can use all of these methods on eggs and you can use them on other mediums too. So think a coffee mug that you might wanna marble or a ceramic tile that you might wanna turn into a coaster. Lots of different options. So let's jump into the three ways that you can marble eggs for Easter. For our first technique, we are going to use shaving foam, some food coloring, and we are gonna marble a couple of eggs. So here's what you'll need. Grab a shallow tray, and I am going to cover this with a little bit of foil, just so I don't stain my tray. Then I'm gonna put on some gloves because food coloring will stain your hands. Now I'm gonna shake up my shaving foam. Any shaving foam will do. And I am just gonna cover this whole sheet. All right, once we've got everything covered, we are going to add a few drops of each color of food coloring. And feel free to use whatever color combination works for you. We're gonna do blue and green for this method. Now taking a wooden stick or something that you don't mind staining, we are going to take our stick and just go up and back until we have a nice swirl in this shaving foam. The blue and green are gonna kind of mix together and we're gonna get these beautiful lines. And then I'm gonna come back and do some horizontal lines. And the pattern that I'm making in this shaving foam is going to transfer to my egg. So get creative, go ahead and make your lines. Just don't over mix so that you lose that beautiful marbled look. Now I'm gonna grab an egg and I'm just going to roll it in here. Get it all covered in shaving foam. And then I'm just gonna set this aside until I do a couple more. 
Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. And I've just placed these shaving cream covered eggs on a plate here. I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm just gonna wipe them off. And once you wipe them off, all the shaving foam is going to go away and you're gonna be left with these subtly colored marbled eggs. How gorgeous is that? Okay, for our next method to marble these eggs, we're gonna be using water and vinegar with the addition of some vegetable oil. So in a shallow glass dish, I'm going to pour a quarter cup of really hot water. Doesn't need to be boiling, but it should be nice and hot. I'm gonna mix that with a teaspoon of vinegar. and just a quarter teaspoon of oil. Now, if we think back to science class, we know that oil and water do not mix. So now I'm gonna add in a couple drops of food coloring into each one. We're gonna do red and yellow. Now, oil and water don't mix. So what we're gonna do is swirl this around really well just to break up that oil and get a whole bunch of little droplets of oil. The food coloring is mixing with the water in here. All right, then we're gonna take an egg and set it in, and I'm gonna use my handy little egg scoop here to just roll it around in there. And as we move it around, the oil is going to prevent the color from sticking to every part of the egg, leaving us with a really cool look. I'm gonna set this back over in my egg carton to dry. And we'll do another one. And if you keep moving it, you're gonna get a beautiful look. And now with this yellow one here, I'm gonna agitate the red a little bit more to get more of the oil broken up into little bubbles. And I'm gonna put the yellow into there as well so we can get a couple different colors. Be careful not to touch it with my hands here because it will stain. All right, so we're gonna go let these dry and we're gonna get this beautiful marbled look once these are dry. The third method for marbling is water marbling with nail polish. This is one that I've shared before and it's one of my favorite methods. You're gonna take some room temperature water and fill up a dish that you don't mind staining. This is a plastic one that I use for crafting quite often and I don't mind if I get a little nail polish on it. Make sure my nail polish is shook up really good and I chose kind of some pinks here and then this teal blue. I don't need the brush, I'm just gonna take this and pour it around on the surface of the water. And then I'm gonna come back with one of these really light pinks too. And we're gonna see what this one looks like. All right, we are all poured around there. Then working fairly quickly, I'm gonna take my egg and just dip one side of it in and pull it up. And look at that amazing texture we have on that side. Now these eggs I'm only doing one at a time, one side at a time. Set this in here to dry. And when it dries, if I choose, I can come back and do the other side. Now we can still keep using what's in here. Instead of placing it in the same spot, I'm going to kind of place it off to the side because it'll give me a different look. So every time I do this, I'm gonna get a different look. And that I only got about a quarter, so I should be able to go and get the other quarter of this here. 
There we go. And see how it started to get stringy like that? That means I've got to wipe this off and try again. So this one will be fine. We're going to put that in here to dry. Now I'm just going to grab a piece of paper towel. And what you can do is right on the top of this water, I can skim off that nail polish. Put this off to the side and I can do it again. So I'm going to try it with a little bit darker pink. And I'm going to show you a different method for this here. So I'm going to drop the pink in. Then I'm going to take a wooden stick and just swirl it around similar to how we did the food coloring in the shaving cream. And this time, I'm going to get a good grip here and just dip the bottom of the egg. And this is a very different marbling. It's got less white space in it and more color, but we just kind of dip the bottom there. So I can probably use that one more time and then we'll let them dry. So there are three ways to decorate your eggs using marbling this Easter. I wanna know down in the comments which one you like best and which one you are gonna go try this Easter. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to Creative Ramblings for more videos just like this. I have something new here every week. Thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.